Hey guys, my name is Travis Franco and I'm here today reviewing the Camp Chef Teton Mountain Series Stove. Go ahead and follow along with me and I'll get straight into the details. So just some general details about the Camp Chef Teton Stove. It's got two burners, a couple of wind protectors, a couple of dial starters so you can adjust your flame, and then a matchless start system. It is ran by just propane, standard Coleman propane bottles like this. What you're gonna do, you're gonna pop this in, right in there. You're gonna push that in, screw it in right there. And then you're gonna screw this in right here. That's how you hook up your propane. Also, it has a grate, can come off super easy for easy cleaning. I just wanted to do this one more time so you can see how easy it is. It's got the little plug in right here. You're just gonna go ahead, press this in right here. There you go. And then this, you push in, screw in just like that. Awesome. Then this part is threaded right here for your propane bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the propane bottle and screw it in right there. Sometimes you have to screw this in down here a little bit more just to adjust, make sure there's no leakage. But otherwise, you're ready to go. So now what we're gonna do is I actually have exactly five cups of water. We're gonna put it on a burner, time how long it takes to boil. I just set the timer. We're gonna go ahead, see how long it takes to boil. The water just hit a rolling boil, and that took about five minutes. Definitely not the best out there. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Definitely not the best out there, but certainly not the worst either. It does pretty good. All right, guys, we're gonna start with the pros on this stove. Now it's got the two burner system, which is great for dinners. Uh, it boils water pretty fast, so that is definitely a plus. The windscreens actually work pretty exceptional. I've never had the stove blow out on me. Uh, it does have the bigger burner, so that it's less likely to do that, but uh, definitely a plus. And then the grate actually comes off for easy cleaning, which is, very handy especially when you're making a mess with steaks or hamburgers or whatever else you're cooking now we're going to move on to the cons with and unfortunately with the stove there's quite a few so first one i wanted to address is this top lid part now it tends to be pretty flimsy it's held on right at the back of the stove here just with the little uh, hook system and unfortunately that hook system tends to bend it's actually fallen off on me a few times. Uh, the windscreens, like I said in the pros, they're pretty good at doing their job, but they're again pretty flimsy. The electric ignition has failed on me a couple of times. I've been trying to light the left burner specifically, and it doesn't always do its job. And then on the bottom of the stove, which I hope to show you in a future picture, there is a handle and the handle is kind of just a piece of metal that was cut in and bent in. Not the best design, and especially with the weight of the stove, it tends to dig in your hands and is pretty uncomfortable. So I will say that. Now, I originally picked this stove up for about 40 bucks, not too bad. So it's a pretty dang good stove for the money you got it for. But the Camp Chef has actually released a Camp Chef Mountain Series Teton 2X which I'm assuming is the next generation of the stove. 
So I'm curious to see if they've addressed some of the problems that I've been having. Now I've had the stove for about, oh, I want to say two or three plus years now. Oh, hello. <laughs> I've had the stove for about two or three plus years now. So I've gone through a good amount of wear, good amount of love. It's held up pretty good. And overall, I'm pretty happy with this. Well guys, that concludes my review of the Camp Chef Teton Mountain Series Stove. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope it encourages you to get outside and enjoy. This has been Travis Franco Outdoors. He out of here. <laughs> oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.